All right, so now you got your Texas rigging hooks down pat. Rigging the baits can be something entirely different. And when I'm talking about fat wide baits like this, this is a flipping tube, we're gonna use that wide gap hook we talked about. The wide gap hook will go in through the top and you're gonna come out the side just like that. And what you do is you slide that bait up to the top of the hook and it's gonna rest on that little shoulder in there. And that's where you line up the bottom of the hook right here. And you're gonna run that through your plastic bait and it's gonna sit just like that. Now you have two options here. You can leave it like this in open cover or you could take that point pull the plastic back and bury it so now it's completely covered. This bait will go through anything from slot mats to pencil reeds to trees and you can work it through without fear of getting snagged. When you move over to longer baits like worms, and I'm going to use this type of worm, this is just a 5 inch, but you can use this style of hook for up to 11 and 12 13 inch worms. It's the same procedure. You go down and you look at the length of the collar, you're going to go down and out, bring that bait all the way up to the top just like that. And then once again, you're gonna line up where that bait goes on the bait, and you're gonna poke it straight through. Once you come through, you do the exact same thing. You grab the bait, pull it back, and then let it go on top of the hook. Straighten that out, and again, you've got a completely weedless bait. Now, the smaller ones in the straight shanks, they're a little more difficult. Straight shank hooks, you wanna really match to the size of the bait. This is a small punch bait. I use this for a number of things, but punching slop, it's a phenomenal bait. So you can see I've got a hook that's the same size. I'll take that hook point, put it in the top, come out, right out the side of the bait, and you can see this hook has an actual barb keeper on it. You take that, slide it up, and turn the hook around so it sits like that. And instead of going right through the bait like the other baits, what you're gonna do is pull back, and you're just gonna let that bait's hook sit right inside just like that. That's completely weedless, allows you to get in and out. But the nice part is, when your bait lands on the bottom, the claws will come up just like that, and it's almost irresistible to any fish.